Hey guys! Today's video is going to be my favorite found family stories, including books, shows and films. I have quite a loose definition of found family but from what I've picked out it's mostly a group of people who come together and are really close and support each other. Well, you'll see. All for the Game All for the Game is a trilogy of books, following Neil Josson, the newest member of the Foxes, a university sports team. The Foxes all come from difficult backgrounds and come together in their own way over the course of the trilogy. Higher Ground Higher Ground is a TV show following the lives of a group of students at Mount Horizon, a wilderness school for troubled teens. The found family game in this one is strong, by the end of the series the whole group treat each other like siblings and Peter and Sophie, who are the counselors, act like the parents. The characters are all friends and seem to genuinely love each other but argue and bicker constantly. The Raven Cycle the Raven Cycle is a quartet about a group of teenagers looking for a dead Welsh king because they think he will grant them a wish. As the group come together the dynamic is kind of odd, they are all sort of in love with each other but also friends but also act like siblings. It's pretty amazing, I really like it. Teen Wolf Most of my audience know what Teen Wolf is so I'll keep this brief. It's basically a show about werewolves who form packs and that's the found families. Check out my other videos if you want to know more. The Maze Runner This is a book trilogy with movie adaptations about a dystopian society where teenagers are being put into mazes and they don't really know why. As the teenagers have to learn to survive together in the maze they learn to really care about each other and form a found family. Peter Pan the book and the film as well as other media like the Neverland miniseries. Peter and Wendy make believe that they are parents to all the lost boys. Peter obviously isn't a great dad to the lost boys but still. The Thief Lord. Such a cute little found family. The Thief Lord follows two brothers Prosper and Beau who run away to Venice. This is literally the definition of found family. There is a book and a film, both are great but I prefer the book. Boy Meets World Boy Meets World follows Corey Matthews and his friends and family over the course of seven years from middle school to college. Although Corey's family are involved, his friends are really the focus for him and I think there is a strong found family between Sean and Corey alone. Avatar The Last Airbender Everyone knows ATLA but in case you don't it's a TV show about elemental magic and one boy who has control over all four elements and has to defeat the evil Fire Nation. The found family between Aang and his friends is super sweet and fun. Cassandra Clare Most of Cassandra Clare's books have found families in them but, for the sake of this video I will focus on the first Shadow Hunter series, The Mortal Instruments. Here we see Clary and her friends come together under immense pressure to form a really close bond over the course of six books and beyond. There are real siblings, half-siblings and sibling drama as well as romance within the found families but I still think it counts. Six of Crows Six of Crows is a fantasy duology by Lee Bardigo about a group of teenagers who come together to perform a heist. Although there is a lot of coupling up, there are definitely levels within the relationships that mimic siblings and even parents, even though they are all similar ages. Lost If you've seen my list videos, you will know Lost is my favorite TV show of all time so I had to include it. This found family includes a lot of people who survived the crash and form a whole new community. The bond stretch over the course of the series as characters are pulled apart and new characters are introduced but in the end they come back together as a family. The Greatest Showman This is a really random one but The Greatest Showman is a film about a man who starts a variety show. The attractions are called freaks and this makes them band together and stick up for each other. This Is Me is a great anthem for them. It's a shame they weren't more of a focus. Tracy Beaker The final entry is a classic, Tracy Beaker. This is a TV show with a few spin-offs and books, but I'm going to focus on the original show. 
The kids in the care home often have neglectful parents or none at all and treat each other a lot like siblings. The relationships formed are heartwarming and show the power of chosen family. Thank you all for watching. Please comment your favorite found family down below, as I love this trope and want to read and watch your recommendations. Like and subscribe, for more. Bye.